In its natural habitat, there sits the magic trackpad too. Look at it. It needs to be unboxed. Today we're going to talk about the magic trackpad. Two, the second version. And here is a quick unboxing montage if you're into that kind of thing. So the Magic Trackpad, it's a very premium slab of glass and aluminum and some plastic on the bottom. But this is a very solid piece of tech ga gadget or whatever you want to call this. And there's obviously no rattling or no, there's no moving parts and. It really just feels like a slab of glass if you don't turn it on. But once you turn it on, that's where the magic happens. Magic. But here it is. Here it is. And uh, this is my mouse that I use every day. This is the very beat up MX Master 2S. It connects up to three devices um, and it's Bluetooth. It has a dongle. I just lost it. Uh, but this is a size comparison. And here's my keyboard. Uh, this is the Logitech G915 10 keyless. Uh, it's a mechanical keyboard, but very low profile. Look at that. Very low profile for a mechanical keyboard. Here's here's why I want to talk about the Magic Trackpad. By the way, this in the beginning, you see the package, right? That's the package I'm putting this back into because I'm returning this guy. Uh, and here's why. This is a very honestly weird kind of tech. I'm not really sure who this is built for. Uh, maybe if you are looking for a laptop trackpad replacement, or you just have a hard time switching from a laptop trackpad that you're very familiar with and you're, you're really loving the gestures and all that. And you have a hard time transitioning from that to using a, a mouse like this, this kind of mouse, um, then maybe this is great for you. This is awesome. It's got all the, you know, cool iPhone touch features, you know, the iOS devices features where you could touch or where you could press down on that slab of glass and you feel a little haptic feedback, almost feeling like you press down physically, but that's not a this is not a mechanical press. When you press on it, there's a vibration motor, a very fine tuned vibration motor that makes you feel like you press down and there is a mechanical thing that moves down. And when you press down harder, there's this force touch that feels very magical as well. That's all great. That's all just super awesome. And you could do your gestures, three fingers, four fingers, swipe and zoom, pinch to zoom, rotate and all that, whatever, you know, all the cool tech or cool tech demos you see from Apple. But honestly, I don't really use the pinch to zoom much unless I'm using an iPad. Um, and also just the fact that I'm not really, I don't miss the laptop trackpad. doesn't matter how good it is. Even on the, this, my 16 inch MacBook pro, it's got really nice trackpad. It was pretty much the same functionality as this one, except smaller and integrated into the laptop. But as a dedicated mouse and keyboard user, this just doesn't I don't know where to fit this, you know, I could put it on side like this. That's, that's where I, my mouse usually goes and I'll be typing and I'm still doing that, you know, doing that shoulder movement or like that arm movement, that motion that causes a lot of ergonomic issues, a lot of, um, I, I guess, carpal tunnel and, um, what do they call it? Like tennis elbow or tennis shoulder. That problem is not alleviated with this trackpad, but being a standalone trackpad, I can put it anywhere I want. I can put it under the keyboard. Now, when I'm typing and when I need to like use the mouse or I guess move the pointers, move the cursors, my hand or my arm basically doesn't move that much at all. So I think that would be awesome for ergonomics, except that's not going to work because naturally my hands are going to rest here. Okay. And it just doesn't matter how close or far away from the trackpad. I, I move my palms. I'm going to accidentally touch the trackpad. And the worst thing is there is no palm rejection with the magic trackpad. This guy doesn't reject palm at all. And 
I guess that's a good thing for the slightest touch. You're going to trigger a mouse move or a click. And I don't... That's just awkward. You know, like, I, I, I don't want to hover my hands like this when I'm typing. Because this is the only way for me to not accidentally trigger a touch or uh, trigger a mouse cursor move. I've actually seen other people online talking about having mods for the magic trackpad. So putting this into like a little 3D printed cradle uh, or what did, what did they call it? Uh, they called it the wedgie. <laughs> the wedgie. They 3D printed like a wedge and they put the magic keyboard and the magic trackpad inside of that wedge. And it, it feels like a very integrated solution. But at that point, you're pretty much just using the bottom half of a laptop. So if you have a laptop, then you might as well just use the laptop itself. So I, like, I don't understand really the target market for this product, um, especially when I want it, you know, I want to make it work. Th this honestly is a great idea that I get to type and not move my hand at all, pretty much. And I can still use the mouse here. That is a dream. That's that sounds like a great idea, and except there's no palm rejection. You can make it work. I wouldn't go out and buy a magic trackpad to 150 Canadian dollars and again, have to get all these third party tools and software to make it to customize it to to basically bypass the default behaviors. That part is really weird to me. So unfortunately, I have to say goodbye to this guy. This is going back. I'm returning this. And um, the other thing I, I thought this would be good for was um, since I started this YouTube channel, I'm starting to edit videos a lot more. And I thought it would be awesome to use the trackpad to navigate around the timeline to, you know, do, do a lot of the horizontal scrolling versus using this little wheel, <laughs> this very tiny, uh, not very easy to use wheel on my mouse on the Ma MX Master. Um, what can I say? Using the magic trackpad to move around the timeline is okay, but it's not precise at all. So that's that's the other bad thing. The other thing that jumped out at me completely destroyed my experience was that this is, the good part is this is very sensitive. So you don't have to like fight to, it's not like a PC um, crappy, uh, integrated laptop trackpad that you see on a lot of low budget or even mi mid tier um, PC laptop, Windows laptops. This is great. This is really sensitive. This is very, I guess it's somewhat accurate, but at the same time, it's sometimes too sensitive. And if I want to do a pinch to zoom on the timeline, it either, it, there's like a momentum to it. So if I stop pinching, it still goes farther. It feels uncontrollable. It feels like I'm losing control over uh, my the gestures and the actions I'm trying to do, trying to perform on this trackpad. So that's that's another reason why I wanted to get the trackpad and it completely just unfortunately disappointed and it just wasn't really what I expected at all. So um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it about this video. I, and I know with the Apple, uh, M1 iMacs, the new iMacs with the super colorful backs, um, they have the magic trackpad and the keyboards uh, that have the ma matching colors that look super cool. Again, I, I don't know if I were to actually get an iMac, I probably wouldn't be getting the, the trackpad with it. Now the magic mouse is another story because it still feels like a mouse. It's, it behaves like a mouse. Um, and my, I guess my problem with the magic trackpad is the cursor movement is not really what I expect when I'm coming from a mouse. So th that may be just that I'm very opinionated and um, I'm not used to the transition from a mouse to the trackpad. That could be the reason. I don't think I'm the target market for this product. So uh, for now, I'm gonna pass on this and this guy unfortunately goes back. And if you're interested in other Mac related things, I have a video on the new M1 Mac mini, which is what I'm editing this current video on. So go ahead and check that out and thanks for watching. I hope you liked my review of the, uh, unfortunately <laughs> useless to me, Magic Trap Hat 2. Talk to you later. Peace.